Cold greed, baby. <laughs> what? Opponent kind of misplayed. Uh, what do we got? Oh, so I could actually take Cap out with Cynthia. So maybe it's the more effective play. Remember that. Oh, that's clutch, man. Oh, that's good. Yes. What value does uh, Coral? They've got burner there, though. Actually, that's probably the range target, isn't it? Could very well be. Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've come around to a Reince and Colgrim deck. Reason being that Reince got a buff, the card has dropped by a 1 provision cost. Maybe it's a good time to experiment with this card and see how it works in current times. So the leader ability that we're running is Imprisonment to offer our deck some flexibility and what it can do, we get some more control with this leader. Lock an enemy unit, damage it by 3, double charge. I don't mind using leader ability a bit more aggressively in round 1 when playing this deck because we really want to ensure round control and to clog the opponent's deck as much as possible round 1 and round 2. So getting round control is quite important. And sometimes in doing so, we can even 2-0 the opponent because Colgrim, uh, well, double Colgrim with Letho Kingslayer into Colgrim is a pretty strong play. So the stratagem that I'm running with this deck is Crystal Skull. You get to boost an ally unit by 4, give it fail. The reason I've gone for Crystal Skull is because I'm seeing a lot of other Imprisonment leader ability decks uh, also running multiple locks. So when we go first round 1, it's nice, nice to give stratagem to the Viper Witcher Adepts. Keep this nice engine boosting on the board for us to help us get round control and prevent it from getting a status such as lock. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with, we have two Viper Witcher Adepts in our list. At the end of your turn, boost off by one if your opponent has more cards in the deck than you. So we will be placing cards in the opponent's deck through the following cards that I'm going to run you through. Also, we do have a significant amount of thinning. So Viper Witcher Adept uh, fits in quite good in our list. Very nice engine at four provision costs. Pretty cheap engine. The way we like to play the Viper Witcher Adept is either after thinning down our deck a bit or clogging the opponent with cards back in their deck. So these are quite nice to play out round one or round two on the bleed, round three, anytime really, but do ensure you play one in round one to synergize with our stratagem. I've added Pella in our deck. Like I said, I'm seeing a lot of Nilfgaard imprisonment lists, other imprisonment lists. So I like to have Pella just to counter some locks that we may receive. Locks to Colgrim and locks to the Viper Witcher Adepts. That's why it's in here. Also, we do have Heatwave, so I don't mind having Pella in here to purify an opponent's defender, perhaps, and Heatwave something behind it. Also, Heatwave is nice against the opponent's scenario cards that may be protected behind a defender, so Pella gives us a bit of flexibility. What I'd say with Pella is, if it looks like Pella is not going to provide us much value during a match, you can select Dead Man's Tongue to get rid of Pella as an option. Double Joust to offer our deck some control. Remove an enemy unit shield and damage it by 4 or give an allied unit a shield and boost it by 4. For the most part, Tony Joust and Pella will be our Dead Man's Tongue option. Like I said, we can also use this for some control as well in our list. So use it as you need to or just leave these three cards 
in deck if they seem irrelevant during a match. To give our deck more thinning to make Holgrim play for better value. And also to give us some tempo to get round control. We are running the Blightmaker package that you see here. So basically what you have to know is we have two copies of these cards. Two copies of these cards as well. What we want to do is always keep both Mage Assassins in our deck. And we will be thinning them out to the board through the use of Blightmaker. So the way Blightmaker works is when we deploy this card, we get to look in our deck. It allows us to move a unit to the top of our deck. That's going to be those Mage Assassin units. When we do that, we also get to spawn the Guardian. And according to the ability of those other two cards, they get drawn out to the board and do two points of random damage as well. So the way to get max value for Blightmaker would really be to ensure that you play these out after your opponent has a unit on their side of the board. So you get that damage value as well from the Mage Assassins. Blightmakers are certainly nice to play both of them out round one to thin the Mage Assassins out just to prevent some bricks going into round two and three. Uh, we do have double viper witcher so this is to do with the clogging aspect of this deck deploy give bleeding two to an enemy unit we want to play these cards for adrenaline six if the unit is not a token spawn a base copy of that unit at the top of the opponent's deck so this is one of the cards that we're playing to ensure colgrim value when we play colgrim and also to disrupt the opponent's deck consistency right what we want to do is target cards that don't have much synergy with the opponent's deck or less effective cards. Avoid giving the opponent good cards, of course. So just hold on to the Viper Witcher till you see some maybe less effective bronzes and target those, give them bleeding. We definitely want to maximize thinning of our deck and clogging round one, round two. And let's say in a short round three, then we can play our power combinations out like Marines, Double Colgrim, Defender. Okay, so try to prioritize clogging and thinning round one and two. We have double coated weapons. With this, we get to damage an enemy unit by five. Death blue, if it wasn't a token, banish it and spawn a base copy of it on top of opponent's deck. Coated weapons is nice because it offers our deck some control and is a direct way to remove units off the board as well as simultaneously clog the opponent again. So once again, you can use these round one if you like. And moving on, we've covered Blight Makers. Play these out round one, round two latest. We have Rico in this deck to work with Reince. There's a bit of a combination between the two cards. So this card works that whenever opponent plays a unit, while Rico is in hand or deck, set his power equal to that unit's power. What we want to do is always leave Rico in our deck and we will be for the most part taking advantage of rico by let's say round three through the use of rinse and we should cover that now since we're discussing rico so the way rico works in combination with rinse is that rinse works as deploy look at the top three units in your deck move one to your graveyard then destroy an enemy unit with power equal to that unit's power so we know that Rico will gain a certain power level, right? Depending on what the opponent just played with the unit. And then we could just play Rinse down, move Rico to Graveyard with the same power level as the opponent's unit and destroy that unit. So Rinse can play for some really high value if you time it well and you know the opponent's deck well. Also, Rinse has an order ability. Set the power of a unit to match the number of cards in your deck. So we're looking to thin down a lot. And we're looking to clog the opponent a lot. So for that matter, because we're going to have a few cards left in our deck, we most likely use the order ability offensively or one of the opponent's units as a tall punish option. So let's say we have three cards in deck and the opponent has a highly boosted unit. Use order on the highly boosted unit, setting its power down to um, three, for example. Rinse, to be most consistently played, probably plays best by round three, when we've thinned down so much and we know what we're likely to draw, drawing into Rico effectively. And you would play Rinse quite late at the end of the match and of course behind Defender for protection because this card has an order ability that we must wait on as well. So that's the combo between Rico and Rinse. With Cynthia, this is one of our clogging cards. 
You can play Cynthia Meliro, spawning the Guardian and placing it at the top of your opponent's deck. That three power token unit there. This is another way to place more cards in the opponent's deck. Disrupt the deck consistency. And um, it's quite a nice opener into round one. I do like to play this as a proactive play because it can help set up the Viper Witcher deck soon after and can also thin out Roach from our deck right away because there's a gold card. So like I said, just bear in mind, thinning and deck consistency disruption, round one and round two, you prioritize that. Then we've got a Seer. We are looking to play a Seer Meliru. Shuffle a card from the opponent's graveyard into their deck. So you want to target something suboptimal that doesn't provide the opponent much value if it's drawn into a, a weak card, let's say. Try to target a weak card. A Seer sometimes would be better played round two. If you can play her round one, sure, go for it. Bear in mind, if we play this ranged row, we get to shuffle a card from our graveyard into our deck. We're not looking to use it that way, but it may come in handy sometimes. Just bear that in mind. Then we got Dead Man's Tongue to thin our deck down and make Colgrim play for better value, get to our better cards. Banish a card from your deck. If it was a bronze, banish another bronze card from your deck. Boost an allied unit by the combined provision cost of banished cards. Dead Man's Tongue you want to play latest round two. And the targets would be double joust or Pella or something lower costed that you see here. Then we have location. This has resilience. So if you don't use the order on the same round that you play it on, it carries over into the next round. On deploy, you get to, sp to uh, spawn and play a selection of one of these cards. You can use it to clog the opponent more if you like with a Viper Witcher. Maybe you need points to get out of a round. Maybe you go for Viper Witcher Mentor getting a big boost. Or you could perhaps go for passive points. It's up to you how you wish to play it. Round 1 or round 2 card. Then we've got Colgrim. Pretty much our entire deck is formulated to benefit this card. Okay. So on Adrenaline 1, at the end of your turn, boost self by the difference between number of cards in players decks this is the entire reason why we're looking to clog the opponent as much as possible and thin down our deck as much as possible so with colgrim you could 2-0 the opponent or you could just reserve colgrim for a short round three end of match play really we have defender to provide protection to double colgrims and reents so save defender at that time Roach is to thin out our deck, get some more points on the board. When we play a gold card, this card gets summoned uh, from our deck. So whenever you play a gold card, summon this unit from your deck to a random allied row. So you're always leaving this card in your deck to get thinned out, okay? Ring of Favor to help with round control. So we really want round control and we're really willing to play deep into round one. So I think Ring works good in a deck like this. So you can imagine that we really push hard to clog the opponent as much as possible. And then um, like basically when we've played all of our thinning and clogging for round one, you can do Ring of Favor as a final play and boost something very tall and hopefully it gets you round control. So this card starts in your hand, boost an allied unit by three. While in hand at the end of your turn, increase boost by two. When your opponent passes, banish self from hand and draw a card. Okay, so it also provides us thinning in some cases. We have Letho Kingslayer. On deploy, transforms, transform into a base copy of a unit without changing power. We are reserving Letho Kingslayer to be played into Colgrim. Double Colgrim play for a big tempo. If for some reason Colgrim didn't seem to be an effective play in your match because the opponent's got a lot of thinning or something like that, um, a backup plan could be to go Letho Kingslayer to get another Reince. If not, copy something good from the opponent as well. Heatwave for some control, banish a unit or an artifact. That's what you're going to look to do. Target scenario cards with this. And also units which are very powerful. Uh, maybe resilience units are a good option as well. And we've covered Reince. Just play Reince towards the end of the match, late. So now that I've covered the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for the deck. Okay, so 
what we want to do is uh, prioritize maximum clogging and maximum thinning round one and two. Reserving Colgrim, Letho, Rain Splay at the end of the match or short round three. Okay, so bear that in mind. Uh, round one, what we can do is we have a proactive play. Cynthia, Meliro, followed by Viper Witcher Adept. Give it Stratagem. So you want to carry Viper Witches in, Coded Weapons in, Blight Makers. Uh, Dead Man's Tongue, Location. All of the thinning, thinning and all of the clogging is what you're looking to do round one and two. Okay, you're going to play Ring of Favor late at the end of round one when you have nothing um, reasonable left to play in that round. If your hand is good and you, you've won round one and you're in a short round situation into round two, maybe you could 2-0 the opponent. Um, maybe you can bleed into round two if you like. And then what you can do in a short round three is you want to reserve Defender and then play Reince behind Defender followed by Colgrim, Letho Kingslayer to another Colgrim. Of course, try to use your leader ability effectively during the course of the match. Maybe push hard with it round one just to get round control. And um, yeah, hopefully that's enough to win you the match. Colgrims will be getting uh, quite a good boost according to how well we've managed to clog the opponent and how well we've managed to thin by the end of the match. So thank you for your time and support, and I hope you have fun with this deck. I think uh, maybe Nausicaa Sergeant's <laughs> pretty high up there. Oh, there's Imprisonment, see? So Pella will come in handy in this one. With Hefty is broken, yeah. Nilfgaard Paradise Season. That's true, Dozen. <laughs> You'd be enjoying it then. Your favorite faction, huh? What's what's your other favorite faction? What else do you like to play? Oh, it's Figo, is it? The senses can be oh. easily. Thrones to be emptied. So we should just be looking to really target all these. Oh, we kind of have to thin too. Wait, we want to kill that, right? I've never played Cultist. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, coded weapons, most likely. The stars Skellige? Sweet. Tactic tag? Yeah, I mean, that's what makes it pop though, really, huh? I may come around to, um... Everyone some kind of an assimilate to... version Everyone. with that card. That's not really effective for opponent. So, if we target this, maybe this is a good idea. Don't yell, my lady. You'll strain it. Hope is not... I don't believe they'll be able to really use that. Could very well play another. I have Necromancy. Oh, that's a very early pass. Yeah, I'll take it. Hoping to do more of the same, really. If we can. Put uh, Rico back. <laughs> True X. Give me good draws. <laughs> that's that's so bad for them if we keep targeting that. So I think we're gonna do that. Magic dies. This world dies with you. Yep. Nice. Nice. Uh, I got to watch a bit of it. it looks pretty crazy, man. <laughs> Not surprised to see him try out the Siana with that one. 
Yeah, yeah, a lot of points, huh? <laughs> uh, how consistent can you get it to work? Not too hard to operate. No good wine will come from here. Not even compost. Yo, it's good, Phoenix. My dear friend, nice to see you. Another. We enact the will of the cosmos. Uh, we don't. I don't want to give them that, though. This is kind of bad for me to give them, isn't it? Uh. I guess so. What's better than a dead noble? Two dead nobles. <laughs> right on, right on, man. Oh! Spin the wheel? Set the stage. What an incredible play. Teleportation. Right. Your life was worth a great deal, my lord. Take comfort in that. Hopefully that ruins their deck consistency enough. We, we actually have a nice uh, third round hand already here. It's great. I mean, that's a bit of a point gap to cover, my friends. We could use this just to add value to Colgrim, pretty much. Ooh, maybe, maybe I should have heat waved. All right. The worthy, I was looking at the point gap. I thought maybe passing, taking card advantage was better. What do you think? No. Really? Oh crap! Yeah, maybe, huh? Okay, we'll see. I went for the card advantage. Okay, right. Okay. We'll see what happens. Maybe you're right, my friends. I got a bit excited seeing the point gap there. Yeah, carryover is a bit of an issue. Before second chapter. Mm. Okay, we'll see. Alright, we have card advantage. Uh, what was their re- Did they get a rework recently or not? They haven't been touched. Like as far as nerfs go. Not really. Should I keep the Pella? Because they got they got imprisonment leader. Yeah, we're definitely hitting um, Rico. Uh, yo, it's good. My friend, 90. I'll call you 90 for short if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, what's the list today? We're playing Rings Kogra, my friend. Yeah, hyper thin, yeah, pretty much. So, we have card advantage. We'll find out if it was more effective that I should have heat waved. Scenario instead of passing. Yeah, sure, why not? I love playing everything, pretty much. Uh, 
battle prep though. I think uh, order is irrelevant to us. Looks of it. I think we open up with emphasizing passive points. So we go Viper Witcher Adept. And take it from there, I think, yeah. To be emptied. Probably the effective play. Son of a dough. We can Pella that. Can't we? Hold on a second. Those are the units we want to remove, right? Let's you and me have some fun. No, we target. Oh, oh yeah, maybe target that. Gets around your defender. Okay. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, maybe I have to keep Pella. Okay. In case something happens, we'll keep it. A fine vintage you could have made. And we use we use Rinse now. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we're gonna find out. Looks like they don't really have an answer there. If they had an answer, they would have, they would have done something to, to Reince. What's this, uh... So these are all boosting by one, are they? Lost spirit devoid of name, depart now, our veil of pain. To four? There's, I mean, there's not really a big value play here for Reince's order anyway. What is this? Goodness, man. Lady Fortune. I'm coming for you. Go, cool, I got it. Nice. I come up, come back around to our golds. I feel, because we got so much thinning and stuff. Yep.
Invigorate. What kind of invigorate? Got the helmet, they've got the sword on the back. This player means business. Here. I foresee a victory for you. Apparently, get rid of the pillar. Or just. Energy control, yeah. Uh, what kind of list in particular are you versing zero? The soldiers or what? Um, we don't really want this there, you know. I could get rid of it like we hit a lock, we hit coded weapons and then hit a lock on it. that or this they're all problems if I am from targeting them what's better than a dead noble boost the unbo dead boosted nobles. unit in your hand by the number of boosted units in your hand <laughs> no it's risky either way man Tactical decision, yeah. Soldiers. So to counter soldiers. Soldiers swarm a lot, man. Do you play Keltalus? Have you tried that? Maybe that's effective. You can burn up the soldiers. Because they really do a lot of swarming when they play that way. Maybe unitless uh, styles of play are good too. You can also like play decks with a lot of tempo and try to push out a lot of good combinations. How are they covering this point gap? Could they, um, what could they have for that? They've been going down one. 15 points in one turn. You think so? Should we pass? I just wonder what they got for 15 points. You can pass. We'll see. Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Lightmaker then pass. Yeah, I'm not sure, it just seems like a bit of a gap. I just want to see what we get out. Maybe we get something good. Interesting pass point, isn't it? Blight makers. Blight makers is a good round two as well. On the bleed. Can they really make it? Keep a stiff neck. My name. I don't 
for coal. I guess that's nice to get out too. That's quite a good combo there from them. <laughs> Into the harmony units is big. Yo, Reeds could pop in this match. Yes. We need to win round one, even down a card. Clog a bit more. Magic dies. This world dies with it. That's a combination for Reeds. They can definitely go tall. Um, you know that card keeps changing power, right? You just kind of time it. Yeah. So we want Letho. What are we exchanging for? We want we want the clog too. <laughs> that was so freaking risky. <laughs> oh my god, man. Okay, so how do we want to open? We could just open with Defender, why not? There's order. Victory is on the wind. Wait till they deploy something with a really tall power and then we just throw down rinse. I have to go, uh, I have to thin first to make sure we find that. Oh. Oh my god, that's so lucky. <laughs> okay, if I get one Blight Maker out, we're insured, uh, Rico. So let's just hit it while we're safe. A fine vintage Oh my god. <laughs> Talk, right. Where you at, bruv? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't know though. You know, it's a bit sketchy when you don't thin them out. I didn't see that yet. No worries, Wax. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate you, my friend. All the best to you and your wife. So, they're going four. <sighs> what a legend. Thank you for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it, brother. Thank you. After using your leader, split random. Let's just take it nice and slow, man. We're gonna take this nice and slow. We'll just start off with the little homies boosting away. Wait till they play something with a huge power. Throw down reeds. Coded weapons could be good to shut off like one of those engine boosting 
units. Fan boost. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> you got it. Colgrim, rinse, repeat. That's what you said before, right? <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> I think Forrest, Forrest is a, a quick-witted person as well. I think Forrest could uh, perhaps share some extra information. <laughs> perhaps you two could collab in chat. Okay, something's coming now. Let this become a second Sidon. So far, it's looking like we got good control. <laughs> that that's sick, man. I like it. Um, it may go on the thumbnail. <laughs> Are you right if I use it? <laughs> Seriously, I might use it. It sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. It's pretty catchy, man. That's sick. Yeah, these cards are doing great for us. Just remember, these are four provision costs, just boosting away. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I might use it. <laughs> if I do, make sure you let everyone know in the comment of the video. You gotta give credit where it's due. Okay, uh, could be. I was kind of thinking that. I just don't know. You reckon we should? A pleasure to bleed you. Maybe it's the best thing to do, right? Any other cards to worry about if I'm going tall on Defender that you could think of? It's Renfrey though. It'd probably just be uh, Skags, huh? Maybe it's okay to do it. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, who knows, man? It sounds smart what you said. I like the call. It's just that we're gonna lose four points, okay? We're losing four points. We could have offloaded for damage or whatnot. That's all. Not there, huh? Defeat them with hunger. Crush them with thirst. There's nothing worse than a tepid bath. <laughs> do we just get a rinse now yeah 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 okay good Let us settle there. oh man yo dude i was expecting this kind of value in this match that is freaking crazy <laughs> that is so big man yo x hey kg loving the colgrim deck 
Thank you, brother. Thank you, my dear Gwen partner friend. Hope things are going well for you. Hope your stream's alright. That's it. That's how we do it, man. That is freaking huge. Colgrim. Rinse, repeat. Victory. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, my man. Pretty good. Daily deck guides, daily streams, usual grind. Hitting the weights. Yeah. Oh my, dude, you know how big this value is? Set the power of your unit to match the number of cards in your deck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's our heat wave. Oh my god, man. What a match, dude. What a match. <laughs> like rocks. Ah, it's Yodin. Man, I always, I always get hit by Yodin, dude. Wow, really, Lorda? Crap. Okay. Yeah, carryover is very effective um, with their list. They need it. Ah, uh, course. Okay, right. Yep. Thanks, everyone. I think next time it's might be smarter to do it. Season of Nilfgaard. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, man. I'm playing a lot of Nilfgaard. I, I like playing Nilfgaard, though, to be honest. It's not just because of the buffs. Like, I love playing assimilate random uh, effect kind of decks. Yeah, no doubt, eh? Soldiers? Yeah, I saw a video uh, Spessy released. He said 100% win rate, man. Must be damn solid. Must be a freaking strong deck. Wow, only NG. More than four years. Respect. You're really loyal to the faction far out. Uh, do you like to play at all? Or something particular? Uh, sorry. That is a long time to be playing one faction, man. You are freaking passionate. Respect. I wish I didn't freaking brick roach. <laughs> um, you know what, Afghan? We'll, we'll add extra channel points. It will be called sunglasses. When we hit an ep epic move, someone can redeem it. I'll put them on. <laughs> what do you all think? No just, one. just for a bit more uh, fun and interaction. <laughs> As who? Calvate? <laughs> uh... That damn horse, I know. He's uh, Roach is staying consistent to how he's depicted in the card here. He's mischievous, even in hand. Okay. Yeah, opponent, opponent has bad hands. We really could have capitalized if I didn't have this. 
Anyway, dead man's tongues. They have double imprisonment. Maybe we go like one for one because this will just get locked, won't it? Or what if I play him behind Defender or something? Maybe we bait out locks too. I'd hit a lock there only because I think their hand's bad. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. I just want to see what I could squeeze out. Yep. This goes to mine. Mm, maybe a ring. Maybe early ring. Just just for pressure's sake. Zoltan? <laughs> we we got spiky hair, huh? What's better to what's better to give slave infantry? Yeah, it might, I don't know. They could pass now on five. You never know. I think we have to keep Pella because they're running imprisonment. I can't just toss Pella for points here. I'm very sure defender gets removed, and they lock uh, our important units. We we'll have to keep Pelif defensive. Damn, that's a lot of games, Wax. Well done. <laughs> Colgrim. Oh, they're playing into it. They're desperate. You can tell, but I just don't have a hand to push it. Your life is worth a great deal, my lord. It's gonna have to be the pass. Poor pillar. Pillar's gonna do some good work for us, my friends. Okay. Ugh. Look at that. Okay, good. Would they try to 2 0 me? Or soft bleed, you think? Finally, see the boss in life. Mate, you're talking about yourself. Alright. Too late? Why? It's never too late. You're always on time, my friend, over here. Ah, oh, right, right. Hope you have a good one at work. Idle. Idle instead of rinse. What do you mean, wax? You prefer that? This seems pretty effective at this point, doesn't it? I like that interaction, feels good. Uh... Oh! Nice! Crap! Man, the magic is here tonight. 
Hello, you're reading. How are you, my dear friend? I'm absolutely sure we see an instantaneous Vilgefort from the opponent. Put that back in there, maybe. Wow, really? So, but then I need a lot more tactics. I have to make the deck look very different. Um, you can move a card with the number of tactics in your deck. Equal power back to the opponent's hand. Opponent's unit back to their hand. Yeah, that's right. And remove statuses and all that. So, like, uh, vitality goes. Like, it's actually pretty good in some cases. I think the best value I got out of that was uh, versing ST Symbiosis. And they have those token dryads, the Symbiosis ones. Like, sometimes they boost them tall and stuff. Oh, this is nice for Lightmaker, isn't it? This shit, a fine vintage you could have made. Probably Defender now. I think so. I hope they give me a Viper Witcher Adept. If they go Vilgefortz. One must hope. I guess we have um, the middle card to fall back on for Reince if this gets drawn out. Oh, they don't have an answer, really? That stays at four, though. Passive points first. Probably targeting the seven with this. So this is going to be uh, Renfrey and all that, all that good stuff. Oh, this cracked, man. Yo, this combo is so cracked. I might put together a deck um, just to show how cracked it is. They armored that back up. So this just keeps staying at... Uh, that's at one? Oh yeah, because that was played. Let's go that again. Really? Igni? Oh yeah, against this kind of a deck? Tremble before the light of the great sun. Is that as good as it's gonna get for Reince? I mean that's that will become a problem too, won't it? And then if opponent wants the Vilgefortz now, we're insured. Viper Witcher. We might see it now. They could be just waiting for Colgrim. I think so. Yeah.
Oh my goodness. Right, that's why they got slave infantry. Heat wave 10. Use that while we can, isn't it? Sending it to three. Do they have an answer for for the defender? How else would I be playing this anyway? No such thing as justice in this world. None ounce of it. Pretty risky to float it like that, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's get this over with. Wow, it survived. That's the only risk for us, right? So I'm fine to play this melee then. Yeah. I can't believe it went like that. <laughs> oh, I can't. Um, they could have just played. Wait, did they just screw leader? I think opponent misplayed a bit here. Right. Okay. Man, and, and you know what? Look at the points they covered just by doing that too, though. That's crazy.